Okay, next one is Jay Cummings, which is actually, his stuff's crazy good. His most recent piece is, it's kind of insane. So, just a quick look at some of the earlier stuff. We've got a... Um, we've got a substance material, which I didn't realize was a substance material for the longest time. I think it's just substance. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Do I love when you, you see how people do their breakdowns. It's pretty cool. But yeah, in general, this looks pretty solid other than the stretching. I mean, stretching is difficult to uh, uh, deal with. But um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is really nice, dude. I think it could use some material separation a little bit and maybe it's a little on the noisy side. Oh, Timothy just posting a blog as well. Nice. We'll have to link that in the uh, discord. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this one's pretty nice. Uh, let's keep going and we're going to go. There's an article. We got a Glock that was made in general. looks pretty good. Um, Camera is really close and I'm trying to figure out if like, if it's worth having, I mean, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty well done as well. There's some photogrammetry stuff going on here. Like that's cool. Some nice cleanup on the albedo there as well. Um, yeah, I mean, nice. Project Raid. Oh man, I haven't watched this actually. I don't even know. Nice. I mean, that's pretty cool. Hey, thanks for the follow, dude. Intense four-player combat. What did it say? Intense four-player battles. Feels good. Ah, this looks fun. Very nice. Uh, so I guess you worked on some of the uh, combat spaces, the stages. That was a 10-week group project in uni. It was a fun one. <laughs> Mobley. Whoa. Whoa. That escalated quickly. I mean, this is this is pretty good. There's a, there's a few issues of, like, resolution differences between things, but I, I'm sure you are aware of that. Man, that's a cool shot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I love, man. Love me some gifts. This is awesome as well. Um, let's see what else we got going on here. Ah, dude. Yeah, in general, this is this is pretty good. This is pretty pretty good. I like when it when it comes down to it it's it's really it's all about the gameplay right and it looks that looks fun it kind of reminds me of um oh, i can't even think of the game right now the one where you're just monsters and you can grab each other you're just trying to throw each other off platforms and stuff avoid deadly hazards oh that eye that eye is dope oh wow it's a hazard too genius genius oh and i love the uh Oh man, there's some great mechanics in here. That looks chaotic as all hell. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gang Beast, yes, thank you. Fusion Frenzy Mage Edition, basically. I mean, in general though, this is really, really cool. Very well done. Presented well. Yeah. Um. So... I love that you did some asset breakdowns that are separate from your scene. I guess you made this maybe separate from the scene, but planned on, ooh, brutal, brutal. I forgot that these were in here. Oh, this looks dope too. So one thing I've noticed with your work is there's a, there's a pretty big emphasis on um, a bit of a stylized range when it comes to your roughness. Uh, Oh, dude, that looks great, too. Man, so crunchy. 
You're just like, oh, I run my hand across this, cut myself, and then die. Get sick and die. <laughs> oh, man. This, this song, I don't know about. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, in general, there's some there's some nice Jesus. There's some nice stuff in here. And the way it's presented, there's just an endless wave of content to see how you put stuff together. Um, but yeah, I dude, this looks, it looks good. It looks really good. I think a detail normal would, would give you a little bit of love where you wouldn't have to like force so much noise through the, the overall normal map itself. See, and I, that's what it looks like, but maybe there is a detail normal. I'm not sure. It, there's gotta be, there's gotta be some areas. It's smoother than others, which is throwing me off. So I'm trying to figure out if that's. Yeah, I think there's a detail normal on there. There's some areas where it starts to feel a little on the concrete side, and maybe maybe this base thing here and this is concrete. If that is the case, maybe this... No, I don't know. It It's confusing me a little bit as if it's like, if it's concrete or if it's, if it's metal. Nice. God, never getting used to that, man. It's never, never going to get used to it. But um, this scene here, this is like, Causing ripples, I'm sure, in your life. <laughs> this looks really good. Really, really good. And I really appreciate that the feedback that I gave you in your 11th hour. Um, that you actually went ahead and did it. Because it was a bit of... There was a, a bit of change that needed to happen in order for it to, to go down. And I appreciate that you took the time to do it. Um, this reveal is, is pretty cool. I really like that you see all the details kind of like the way the moon is hitting the, the surface. At least that's what it comes off as is like, that's the moon. So that shot though, this is the only thing that bugs me about the final result is the fade out and then the fade into this shot. Cause I, I feel like this shot could go on like twice as long and then, um, where is it at? And then turn into, is it this one? And then turn into this shot where the camera like pans up and then shows this. And then you fade here or you, you blend into like this one. And then this, each one of these shots is just showing off the, each of the scenes in different angles or each of the different angles of the same scene. The presentation of seeing this doorway, and then when you're inside, I don't know where this is. I guess it's, hang on. I guess it's over here. Oh, yeah, see, it's here. The way that this camera angle is moving makes me think that you're going to show me inside of there. And then you show me this. You show me this, and then I'm trying to figure out where the doors are. <laughs> So it's just, it's more about the way that the presentation is composed and the way that the shots are telling you what to look at and then what you end up seeing that is throwing me off. This is, this is dope. The shot is really strong as well. Again, I think this should be your establishing. You do the long ground pan. You like, you put your name here. Just let the material get shown off because you, you only see it for a brief moment. Like it literally is going from dark, full bright, and then the moment it hits full bright, it's going dark again. So you don't even really get to appreciate the material. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, I think this shot should probably be trying to get you to look over here. But the entire composition of how this is set up is making you look at this door. <laughs> so that's just that's just how it is. But in general, this is very, very good. Yeah, super, super nice. Nice. This is, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, some great, some great stuff in here, man. Uh, I think, really, that's all I have to say about it, though. Let me look at the, uh, the shot here. So this shot's really strong. Really, really strong. Compositionally, you've got the warm and the cold, right? I like how you tried to 
make it a little bit more uncomfortable by making the cold a little bit on the greener side. It's kind of makes a little on the, oh man, what am I about to see? Um, compositionally, it's it's really strong. I always like seeing elements that are really close to the camera to just help frame frame your, your scene. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. Cause like, I'm trying to figure out where some of the lights coming from. And now that I point this out, people are going to be like, what? Oh no. How do I unsee this? So this, this area here is quite bright. Let me just do this and then we'll make a mask here. Yep. Does that bug you? <laughs> what is going on? Why can't I? There we go. Probably want to fake a little bit of bounce light coming in from the bottom of it. But um, I know you want to show that detail too. But see, now you've got this light that's in here. I don't know why I didn't catch on to this before. Because this, this was, I think this is going to help the overall scene. I'm just going to do a, a really dirty... Um, Overall, dude, your portfolio is quite strong, and I think it's just a matter of time before you have a job. I wouldn't stop. I'd keep going, make some other stuff. But uh, I know you're already doing some interviews and, and whatnot, so that's good. I just want to emphasize some stuff here. Like, look at that. Oh, man. It's, a, it's, it's good, dude. It's good. Oh, thanks for the hosts, uh, Flamingo. The tree, chunk, tree trunk far left with the orange light. This one? I So I like this. The Seeing the light maybe is a little odd. Um, just because it... it it's pulling your attention away. It looks more like a like a bug, maybe. But yeah, overall, it's super, super strong. Be proud. You see what I'm talking about now with the... But overall, man, super, super strong. And your portfolio is ace because of it. I look forward to the next scene that you make. Um, but yeah, cool. Thanks for sharing your portfolio, dude. I don't know if there's like, I mean, maybe you could move some of the stuff to your blog. Um, right now it's doesn't, it wouldn't really help you or make you look worse for either keeping it or removing it. So I, I think just leaving it how it is right now is, is fine. Um, I assume an article is either coming or hasn't happened yet or you haven't posted it in here yet but when that article drops it probably should go in here as well just like this i assume but um yeah if you wanted to remove anything i would maybe suggest um i mean they all show value really right now maybe the gun stuff but if you're really proud about the 80 level then just leave it but um, yeah, nice work, dude. Um, let's get let's get to the last um, the portfolio, and then we go to Discord. All right, be right back. <laughs> 